now explain the power of crowd. You see, crowd is not just a bunch of people. They are the people who answer my questions on Quora or create articles on Wikipedia, which I read. Crowdsourcing can be helpful in many ways. For example, it can help me to find out the number of gems in this jar or help me to estimate or calculate the weight of this jar. You must be wondering how. Let me show you. Estimate the number of gems in this jar. 180. Mm, 220. 400. Around 600. 1000. 500. 300 maybe. 550. It's around 1500. 2000. 500. 500. Okay. I expect about 500. 250. 1500. 1500. Okay. 250. 400. 400. 1000. 200. 200. 250. 200. 250. 250. 263. 275. 300. 250. 220. 170. 100. 790. 500. 650. 300. 170. 800. <laughs> what is this all about? Random guess. Okay. We'll let you know. Say 200. 700 approx. 170. 500. Okay, let's say 1. 97. 250. Around 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. 120. 250. 500. 500. Not more than 350. 400. 300. 300. Okay. <laughs> 250. And what about you, sir? 300. 300. Okay. Hey guys, guess what happened? There were actually 375 gems in the jar and the crowd guessed it right. I know nobody's ex guess was exact, but if we take the mean of all their guesses, it is actually coming out to be close to 375. Wanna know how? Let me show you. As you all know, we conducted an experiment in which number of people were asked about the number of gems or candies in the jar. Although nobody guessed it right, but still we got the right answer. How? Let us find out. This kind of experiment was first conducted by Francis Galton in a country fair. Oxweight judging competition was organized in which around 800 tickets were issued. Every participant was asked about the weight of the ox. The actual weight of the ox was 1198 LBS and if we take median of all the estimates it came out to be 1207 LBS. As you can see 1207 LBS is very much near to 1198 LBS. This is the wisdom of crowds, this is the power of crowd. So now I would like to explain the reason behind it. Why does wisdom of crowd prove out to be very useful here. So let us look at this picture. We have actual value, okay? Some people underestimate the actual value of the ox and some people overestimate the actual value of the ox. Okay. The underestimation part and the overestimation part, it actually cancels out. So what is obtained at the end is the actual value. This is the same principle that is playing behind median. For example, we are given a data comprising of minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Here we have median as 0. For example, 0 is the actual value here. And some people guessed it 1, some people guessed it 2, some people guessed it 3. And some people underestimated the value like minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Okay, but if we take the difference of values and the median here, we'll get minus 1, 1, minus 2, 2, 
minus 3 and 3. And then we take the summation of all these values, we at the end get the median of the data. This is the same principle that is playing behind the wisdom of crowds and this is the same principle that is playing behind the median of the data. The underestimation part actually cancels the overestimation part and the answer that we got from the wisdom of crowds from many people estimates is actually the actual value of the ox. So as I said, overestimation minus underestimation comes out to be zero. So the answer that is obtained from the estimates of the crowd is actually the actual value is the true value of the ox. So what we did in our experiment was, we asked people about the number of candies or gems in the jar. In our experiment, around 75 people participated. The actual number of gems in the jar were 375. The median of the data that is obtained is 300. And the average of all the estimates that has been obtained is 351. So as you can see, median is not giving us the right answer here. Even the average, the mean of all the estimates is giving us right answer here. So according to the recent studies, it has been observed that if we take the other aggregate measures, then they can also be proved to be useful in these kinds of experiments. I repeat, Recent studies have shown that if we take other aggregate measures, then these aggregate measures can prove to be more useful in these kinds of experiments. So, in these kinds of experiments, you have to calculate a number of aggregate measures. But aggregate measures, I mean, you have to calculate median, mean and other things. So, here we calculated the average of all the estimates and that came out to be 351. As you know, as you can see, 351 is closer to 375 as compared to the median that is 300. So here we calculated the average of all the estimates and that came out to be near to actual number of gems. Here we didn't calculate mean as total number of the estimates, sum of all the estimates divided by total number of the estimates. We didn't calculate mean by this formula. What we did was we calculated 10% trim mean. What is 10% trim mean? Let us find out. In 10% trim mean, what you have to do is you have to remove the 10% smallest and 10% largest values. The sample that has, in, that has been obtained by this method, you have to calculate the mean of the sample obtained. Yes. Here we are using 10% trim mean. You can use 5%, 8% trim mean as per your data. Actually, it depends on the data. But on our data that we obtained from 75 people, 10% trim mean gave us the right answer. Gave us very, uh, gave us the answer that was very near to the actual value. So how can we calculate 10% trim mean? First of all, you have to remove the 10% smallest and 10% largest values. How can you obtain 10% smallest and 10% largest values? In this particular thing, you have to sort the data. What do I mean by sorting the data? Sorting means arranging the elements in ascending or descending order. So if we sort the data, if we arrange the elements in ascending order, it will be easier to calculate the 10% smallest and 10% largest values and then you can easily remove them from the sample. After that you have to calculate the mean of the sample that has been obtained after removing the 10% smallest and 10% largest values. This is how you can calculate trimmed mean. So as I already said this is the wisdom of crowd, this is the power of crowd. This kinds of experiment they explain the wisdom of crowds in a better fashion okay so what is wisdom of crowds if we look at its definition it is actually the collective opinion of group of individuals collective opinion is always better than the expert opinion yes 
कलेक्टिव ओपिनियन इज ऑलवेज बेटर दैन द एक्सपर्ट ओपिनियन इफ वी टेक द एक्सपर्ट ओपिनियन इन दीज काइंड ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट्स इट वोट बी एज एक्यूरेट एज द कलेक्टिव ओपिनियन यू कैन डू दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली आस्क द नंबर ऑफ जेम्स इन द जार फ्रॉम एन एक्सपर्ट एंड यू कैन एक्चुअली आस्क द नंबर ऑफ जेम्स इन द जार फ्राम क्राउड द कलेक्टिव ओपिनियन ऑफ द क्राउड हेयर वुड ऑलवेज बी बेटर दैन द एक्सपर्ट ओपिनियन There is another example uh, from our day-to-day life, based on wisdom of crowds, and that is Wikipedia. Wikipedia is a crowd-source portal. Here, anyone can write, edit articles. As you know, anyone can write and edit articles on Wikipedia. There is also an encyclopedia available online called Britannica. Britannica is curated by experts. and wikipedia is curated by people like us by the crowd if we take the comparative study of wikipedia and britannica recent studies recent research has shown that wikipedia is as good as britannica yes this is right wikipedia is as good as britannica is it an amazing an encyclopedia that has been curated by crowd by the normal people and in encyclopedia that has been curated by uh, by the experts you can do the comparative analysis and you will get to know about it that wikipedia the encyclopedia that has been curated by crowd is as good as the encyclopedia that has been curate, curated by the experts so this is an another example of wisdom of crowds